The jury in the David Bain murder retrial has heard evidence about the violent struggle that occurred as his younger brother fought for his life. This as police treatment of the crime scene came under scrutiny again. This report from Vicky Wilkinson Baker. Fifteen years on and what Robin Bain was wearing when he died yes. is in the spotlight. There was a heavy patch of blood on the hood and on the right shoulder. The detective in charge of dealing with his body describing blood on his clothes and his hands. There was a, a smear of blood uh, on the heel of his left thumb on the inside of the hand. There was also a small smear of blood on the little finger. Bain's lawyers argue the blood should have been tested, saying if it belonged to other family members it could clear David and implicate his father. His lawyers also critical that Robin Bain's hands and feet weren't put in plastic bags to preserve any evidence. And we wrapped the entire body in plastic. I didn't wrap his, well, I don't recall putting bags on his hands and feet. You didn't, did you? I don't believe so. No. Gunshot residue tests weren't done either. I can say I didn't take any firearm residue tests or make any such tests. Late this afternoon, the focus moved to Stephen Bain's room. Uh, the amount of blood uh, covering him, uh, the amount of blood uh, in the scene, uh, it was quite clear to me that uh, there'd been a, a very violent and, and bloody struggle uh, inside that room. The 14-year-old had been shot through the hand, another two gunshot wounds to the head. The Crown claims his older brother also tried to strangle him. I noted that the uh, T-shirt um, around Stephen's neck had caused uh, significant abrasions to his neck, like he had been scragged. After this evidence, a box of tissues was placed on the desk used by David Bain. Vicky Wilkinson-Baker, One News.